So let's fly the afar. All in next plane 11. Props, jets, and much more. All done in real world weather. Let's make it as real as possible every fly. Subscribe, like, and leave me a comment. Look forward to hearing from you. Everybody and welcome back to Let's Fly VFR. There's been a lot of questions about performance and video cards and stuff I've seen recently, and not a, a lot of new people uh, looking to work out what they can and they can't afford when it comes to getting a rig to run in our fantastic X plane. So, what I would thought I would do is just come up with a quick review since it's been ages since I did the last one and everyone seems to like it. It's my most popular uh, video on the Let's Fly VFR uh, channel. So let's back it up and have a look. And now we're a long way down the road with X-Plane. It's been updated. We're into VR now. Um, we should hopefully have Vulcan somewhere down the road. Hopefully that will help us all out as well. So let's have a look at what we have. This is my computer. Okay, so I have a, an 8350, as I'm sure you all know. Um, this doesn't show up really what it is, but that's what it's doing. Um, I have on my memory 19 or 20 gig of RAM, uh, just your basic DDR3. In fact, I'm looking at just checking to make sure that's running at its best possible speed, but at the moment it's running at the basics. Now we have the 1050 Ti, as you can see here, the release date, all the bits and pieces here. You can see it's default clock and it's overclock at the moment. Memory as well, not quite cracking the 1900, but the thing to remember with the GTX 1050 Ti guys is it doesn't have the additional power. So, you know, how far you can go with an overclock is probably a little questionable because we're drawing it straight out of the PCIe slot. So, um, now if you, you've got the money, the recommendation is the 1060, even from uh, the guys at, um, is it uh, Michael Brown at X-Force PC? who works really closely with uh, the guys at X-Plane. Um, the test that he did, the 1060 was actually the best point. That's the 1060 with a six gigabyte. The three, look, I don't know if I would recommend it because you just need to be able to load it up. Um, the memory, you see you get four, four gig here, and I'm gonna do it in a minute, and we're gonna have a look at the different scenarios from uh, just basic, okay? And if you're running tube liners and you've got lots of add-ons, especially the scenery ones, mine is quite vanilla. And I like it that way because it costs me less trouble. I see a lot of people seem to have trouble with them. So you can see what we've got. You can see where I am. This could be stretched a bit further. But at the moment it works, so I'm not going to, you know, start with it. I'm not going to muck it about. 11.21 currently. That's the latest release. We've got uh, a few aircraft coming in. I've got X-Life uh, and an, a few um, add-ons installed, but not a great deal. Let me just show you quickly what we've got. Okay, I haven't got a great deal, if you can see those. Um, Flow with Lua, uh, Gizmo 64, SIM code is Headshake. That I highly recommend. I've got X Live, Ground Traffic, and Lua. Must be another version of Lua, but that's all I've got. Okay. Now, if you can see up here, I'm sitting at 21 frames per second. And we're here at Adelaide International Airport on runway 23. Okay, we just jumped up to 30. It's probably your sort. It always needs a, a, a minute or so. It gets itself sorted out. So it's pretty smooth. You can see you can see the quality around here. And that's something I just jumped past on the other part of the video I did uh, was the color. I want to talk to you about the color as well. But first, 
so 31 FPS currently everything's up and running and, and please note the colors we're going to get to that in a sec let's have a look at the system so general so that's all pretty standard sound graphics now look where I am and look at the resolution I'm getting okay it's 1440 and a little bit because my um, uh, monitor is not quite as standard it's not 720 and it's not 1080 but it's just shorter 1080 so um, it makes some of the figures but it's a little bit over 1440 I guess um, using the DSR from Nvidia and look we're still up at what's that two four six times anti aliasing we're at maximum texture our visual is medium our number of world objects is getting up at high reflection detail I've left that I've draw parked aircraft I've got on uh, the shadows I've got off and my view I like it wide so it's sitting at about a hundred degrees and um, got to reset this now and again I keep having a little bit of roll in there which kept me going for a while I couldn't work it out anyway network size data okay if you're not sure there's your data output click on that and the left here you'll get your frames per second joystick so I've got the um, the wingman and my force feedback has stopped so I'm not sure what has gone on there and the CH pedals okay highly recommend uh, something to that equivalent so 30 now I'm gonna jump out I'm not gonna go flying because I want to stick some weather on I don't want to hold you here for ages so hang around and see what it looks like as we get up in the weather so let's just grab the camera and it's just paused a moment there as we look down runway two three there we go it's got better okay so we can look up and down and we can look left and right plenty of aircraft and again uh, a lot of these buildings around that you see around here uh, I've added now uh, this is here there's been some updates that have updated the, the airport a bit but um, the fire station down here and other bits that you see are all part of um, add-ons that I've done all the stuff here anything that doesn't look like it's auto gen um, I've done to give you an idea so we're looking out there towards the city um, and that's another one that I've done as well you can see it out here put some tall buildings and stuff in um, we're still looking at 39 frames per second as we're going around just jumping around a bit and back inside so let's jump back into the cockpit okay so just that just gives you a general look at the frames per second now one other thing I wanted to show you here and I'll do it now so let's just jump out and we'll we'll do two things we'll bring up okay here's GPU Z GPU load 99% memory used 3.671 gig so you know I've got a lot of texture and stuff happening there and um, you know it's reasonably smooth it's sitting there at 2930 uh, yeah we're not doing anything I know but um, it's good I'll, no I'll tell you what we'll we'll give it a quick fly and then we'll come back maybe to here let's do a circuit okay now I'll leave this up in the corner for you so you can have a look let's put the handbrake off excuse me for not going through all the um, the additional stuff but let's uh, just reset my rudders because they've decided not to work click click there we go all good and that's the head shake operating when you can see the rudder okay so 31 FPS we'll do one quick circuit and while we're up there we'll pause and change the weather I think it's probably the best thing that'll give you an idea of what you're going to get performance wise they're so coming around all greens all up to 70 knots that's what you get when you make videos and fly guys 
So climbing out. See, we're climbing out fine. We'll maintain the 70, 75 knots. Just a little trim. And we're looking at 31. And yes, we're coming out to the sea. So let's, um, I'm just going to turn. So it puts us with lots of things that need to be drawn. And you can see a little bit of um, jaggedness to the shadows. Still 33, 34 FPS. Stop down into Bunnings, which is located in the wrong place. This is my local airport anyway, guys, my international one anyway. Okay, so we're flying along. There's a few little jitters there. It's not, not absolutely smooth, but it's doing a pretty good job. I was seeing more in the in the upper 40s and 50s before a, an update the other day. I don't think I've changed anything that would have changed the performance level, but um, I'll make a caveat that maybe I did and I just can't remember at the moment. So going across the city with a reasonable amount of buildings and auto gen and we're sitting at 30 FPS. Okay, let's go change the weather. So we'll go main menu, it'll stop for us. Flight config, you can see we've got the Skyhawk where we are, we're not gonna change location. Customize the weather, and we'll go to, so Kavik, let's go to marginal VFR, let's try that. So we're gonna get some clouds, and that cloud base is, just click on it guys if you're not sure um, starts at a thousand feet so we might end up in uh, cloud here to, and goes up to three thousand so but you can move the the base and the tops if you want to okay so let's go done and apply change and there we are we're in some pretty poor weather as we head towards the city and we're at 22 fps Let's try not to go IFR, because we'll die if we do that, probably. So let's just fly around. But as you can see, it still looks amazing. We've got a little bit of uh, Shra, which is, um, it could be moisture or rain just coming out of the bottom. Um, I keep looking at the, uh, the weather generation and the cloud generation um, products and I still can't see a reason for getting one yet for me this still looks pretty decent and please remember I do fly IFR or I, or I used to a while back I can't do it because I don't live in Oz at the moment I live over in sunny Thailand so oh we've got a jet coming our way let's get out of the way But now if you're looking at that sort of performance and 26 as you can see is smooth if I roll it. Oh, I did just pause there for a moment. Must have been a little bit too much. But it's still damn smooth. Let's rotate over. We're getting, uh, getting bounced around a bit by the weather. And let's head down here. Okay, so what happens if we climb into the cloud? Let's do that, all right? We're gonna climb through. We're gonna to have to climb a couple of thousand feet. Now we can get thunderstorms and stuff happening. Let's get GPU Z up, have a look. And GPU load 82% and we're still running 30, 3.6 gig, 3.7 gig. Okay, as we climb up, full power running 23 frames per second guys so yeah it's not outstanding but it's still smooth you know the work lamina have done getting us ready for vr is just uh, it's just amazing a big um a big shout out to the guys at lamina for all the work they've done there i'm trying to fly ifr and i'm not very good at it so let's fly through 
I've been doing IFR approaches recently and uh, that's been a bit comical. If anybody's uh, looked at uh, the comments between myself and Pedro Suda, he's been coaching me. Uh, Pedro is a 777 pilot and challenged me to be able to IFR land so um, or fly an IFR approach so we've been doing a bit of that in a bit of practice so here we come out of the clouds we're into the blue nearly uh, 1918 FPS that's not stunning what's it look like if we look left is it gonna let me it's still working very hard uh, GPU load 99% Oh, falling into the IFR, VFR death trap, into a spiral. We haven't actually cleared the scout, the clouds yet, so let's just try and get clear. We're back to 26, 27. I'm looking at more things than I should be. Okay, I need to put um, the GPU Z away so we can look around. So, okay, so now we can have a bit of a look as we're coming out on top and we've got blue sky so 19 20 fps and that's a 2k well a pseudo 2k anyway you can argue with me if you like but it's pretty it's pretty reasonable so that gives you a quick idea of what performance you get out of a minimal system and um, a 1050 Ti. Let's just pause. Okay. Now, the one other thing that I really wanted to show you guys that um, I spotted on another video, to be honest. I'm stealing the ID, but I think it's very worthwhile. I did post it on Let's Fly VFR Facebook page, the actual video. Um, and, and I think it came from the guys at um, X-Force PC. But I really highly recommend you having a look at this. If you think your uh, display is looking a little bit um, washed out, hang on, let me get back there again. Um, please come have a look here. If you've got an NVIDIA card, I'm sure Radeon have their own or AMD. But come into um, the color settings here, adjust color settings. Uh, that's for video, sorry. Adjust color settings. Here we go. All right. Now, I've made some little changes here, but the digital vibrance um, was one. I, I moved these up just a little bit. I think they're actually at about 50. And I've got it now. Use NVIDIA settings. settings and that's made a real difference to the quality especially using the um, the DSR because you can probably tell that the uh, the text is a little bit washed out as well here now if I set it back to normal um, it just becomes grayed out it's a little bit on the towards the lifeless settings I thought so um, I would knock it off but I'm going to leave it where it is because I'm not going to muck with stuff so there you go guys hope that's helpful so, you know, I'm just saying, look at the colors here. Look at the reds. If you go outside, let me take us outside and have a look around. Now, maybe that's a little bit bright. Let's zoom in a little. Um, with the light coming from the sun onto the clouds, maybe it would be a little bright because we've just come through it. But that's something you can measure and adjust personally. Now, all the monitors and things are likely to be a little different. So um, so that's where I'm going to leave you. Just a quick view of what the performance currently is, what's capable, and um, maybe if we go back here, now I may need to do a relay. Let me put it back at my stock resolution and see how far we go uh, from there. Okay, we need to go here. Let's go here and put it back to my, um, I'll need to put it to default monitor setting. There we go. So it's now 
1050 by uh, 1680 I think it is done resume flight and we're 16 frames per second pause off and we're back inside and we're getting we're up at 34 now so we went from 20 to 34 and does that look any worse probably not it's probably perfectly fine sitting there at that uh, that setting as well let's dive down through the clouds bit of red out there try not to oh there we go carefully carefully and back here uh, as we fly across there we're getting 33 34 FPS okay so there you go there's a good comparison I think it didn't make a lot but it did make a little difference in your overall FPS so thanks for watching if you're uh, uh, a new subscriber or a new, a new visitor please subscribe love to have you along and if you've come on back for another dose and you're enjoying the videos then please hit that like button as well. Be really great to hear from you and what you're doing uh, with your system and what you're getting out of it. Post it. Let's make it as real as possible every fly. Subscribe, like, and leave me a comment. Look forward to hearing from you.